Just as Tian Ran was about to deliver the final blow to Xiao Sheng, small black insects appeared and began to surround his sword. Tian Ran lowered his head and upon seeing the small insects, he was shocked and started wondering what was happening. Gradually, the small insects began to climb onto Tian Ran's clothes. While Tian Ran was holding the sword with both hands and ready to end Xiao Sheng's life, he slightly turned his head to the side and saw the shadow of a mutant who had his hand extended towards him and was the one controlling the small insects. Xiao Sheng, upon seeing that the mutant had arrived, asked why it took him so long to come. This mutant had an ant exoskeleton, long antennas, sharp teeth, sharp claws, and on its back it had two legs with pointed tips. While the mutant was controlling the small insects, he began to stare at Tian Ran and address Xiao Sheng as Holy Lord, apologizing to him. The mutant explained that he had just evolved into an adult body and had not fully adapted to it yet. While they were conversing, Tian Ran tightly gripped the sword and started swinging it. He began attacking the small insects that were surrounding him, causing them to gradually move away from him. The small insects started flying back towards the mutant, who was on the other side of the water. Now that Tian Ran had gotten rid of the small insects, he turned his body towards Xiao Sheng and stared at him intently. Xiao Sheng turned towards Tian Ran, slightly lowered his head and while staring at Tian Ran with a sinister look, he began to smile and told the mutant that this time he would let him go since he currently didn't have the energy to punish him. Upon seeing that Xiao Sheng had lost his arm, the mutant was shocked. He couldn't help but panic and asked if he was okay. Xiao Sheng turned his head towards the mutant, and while looking at him sincerely, smiled and asked him not to worry about this small wound since he was going to start evolving. Upon hearing this, Tian Ran became furious. While staring at Xiao Sheng with a murderous look, he gathered momentum and quickly moved towards him with the intention of ending his life before he started evolving. The mutant realized that Tian Ran was about to attack Xiao Sheng, so it opened its mouth and began releasing more small insects. In the blink of an eye, Tian Ran reached Xiao Sheng. As his sword blade swiftly advanced towards Xiao Sheng's head, he simply slightly turned his head back, and instead of trying to dodge the attack he just remained still. Just before Tian Ran's sword could hit Xiao Sheng's head, the small insects controlled by the mutant appeared and blocked the attack. While Tian Ran was floating in the air, he tried to attack Xiao Sheng again but was unable to do so because many more small insects had appeared. Instead of trying to escape now that he had the chance, Xiao Sheng simply turned his head towards Tian Ran and remained silently staring. Little by little, the small insects began to wrap around Xiao Sheng's body, and upon seeing this, Tian Ran clenched his teeth tightly and started hitting the small insects again. While he was distracted, the mutant gained momentum and slowly approached Tian Ran from behind. He asked how dare he harm the Holy Lord's body. The mutant landed near Tian Ran and Xiao Sheng, creating a powerful gust of wind that started moving in all directions. Quickly, Tian Ran distanced himself from them. With a furious look, he began to stare at Xiao Sheng, gritting his teeth tightly and unable to avoid getting angry since he had been so close to killing Xiao Sheng. Xiao Sheng turned his head aside and while cleaning his clothes with his hand, he asked the mutant to have better control as the bugs had fallen on him. The mutant stood in front of Xiao Sheng, turned his body towards Tian Ran, and while giving him a murderous look, apologized to Xiao Sheng and explained that he was still not good at this. Xiao Sheng turned around, slightly tilted his head back, and while staring at Tian Ran, he ordered the mutant to go kill him. The mutant started moving towards Tian Ran and replied that he understood. Then the mutant extended his hands to the sides, prepared to jump towards Tian Ran, and decided to return to Xiao Sheng once he had ended Tian Ran's life. As Xiao Sheng was gradually distancing himself from them, he asked the mutant if instead of killing Tian Ran, he could leave him breathing. While Tian Ran was on the other side of the water, he simply stayed silently listening. Xiao Sheng turned his head back and while staring at Tian Ran, he started to smile and told the mutant that he still needed to recharge his energy after completing his evolution. He also added that living beings were more nutritious than dead ones. As the mutant stared at Tian Ran, he replied understood. Upon hearing this, Tian Ran assumed an offensive stance. He became alert and while staring at Xiao Sheng, he simply remained silent for several seconds. Several seconds later, once Xiao Sheng moved away from them, Tian Ran gathered momentum and while advancing quickly towards the mutant, started looking at him with a murderous gaze. He clenched his teeth tightly and told him that what he hated the most in this world were people who liked to show off about themselves. Seeing the speed at which Tian Ran was approaching, the mutant was shocked and began to wonder what was happening. At the same time, while Xiao Sheng was moving away from them, he began to tremble as he couldn't bear the pain any longer. He slightly bent his body down and realizing that he couldn't contain the transformation, 
he planned to return to his mother. Then he lifted his head and while looking at the sewer ceiling, he decided to pupate here since it was too late to go back to his mother. Little by little, a white silk began to wrap around Xiao Sheng's body until several seconds later it formed a cocoon. The cocoon stuck to the ceiling of the sewer and the interior where Xiao Sheng's body was located started to glow. At the same time, while Tian Ran and the mutant were fighting, the mutant gained momentum and quickly advanced towards Tian Ran. While holding his sword with one hand, Tian Ran placed the other in front of his head and started to retreat. While the mutant was approaching Tian Ran, he began to stare into his eyes and told him that he was really difficult to deal with. After saying this, the mutant started staring at Tian Ran with a serious look and wondered how an ordinary human could have powers similar to those of mutants. Upon closer inspection, the mutant also noticed that Tian Ran's appearance did not seem to indicate any kind of evolution. The mutant started attacking Tian Ran, but he simply began dodging the attacks as if they were nothing. Seeing this, the mutant became confused and started wondering how Tian Ran was able to dodge all of his attacks. For the mutant, it was as if Tian Ran could predict his movements. Tian Ran was just playing a little with the mutant to have a conversation with him. Since as long as the mutant kept thinking, Tian Ran could know all his movements. Tian Ran was able to read the mind of the mutant thanks to using the intelligent brain ability called telepathy. The mutant attacked Tian Ran again, but he dodged the attack once more. Then, he stared into the mutant's eyes and asked if he knew him. The mutant attacked Tian Ran with a punch, but he dodged it again. Then, the mutant looked him in the eyes and said that he didn't even know who his opponent was. The mutant attacked Tian Ran using its sharp claws and, while giving him a murderous look, asked if he liked the gift. The mutant also added that the way she was hanging from the tree was such a beautiful sight. Upon hearing this, Tian Ran's expression changed drastically. With an aggressive look, he began to stare at the mutant, realizing that he was the one who had killed the girl. Tian Ran unsheathed his sword and attacked the mutant, but he caught the blade with his sharp claws. While Tian Ran held onto the sword, the mutant started gripping the blade with both hands, and they both began to lock eyes. Several seconds later, Tian Ran slowly began to smile. Upon seeing this, the mutant became somewhat confused, so he grabbed Tian Ran's sword blade even tighter and started bringing it closer to his face. Tian Ran simply continued to look into the mutant's eyes and with a smile told him that insects should be flushed down the drain. This is the end of the video, if you guys want to see the next part, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video.